Hey everybody, I'm going to show you guys how to make this basketball arcade machine. Now this is very simple to make and it works. So let's go ahead and get this started. Alright guys, now I have three designs here for you. I don't know which one I like better. Let me know down below which one you like better. All of these work and they're all a little bit different. So this one here, I chose the snow layers that go around here like this. This one here, I chose the red sandstone slab and stair with the sign off the side of it like that. And this one here is the weighted pressure plates with the signs off the side like that. Again, all of them are very simple and all of them work. Now before we show you how to make this, let's show you how it works. So you have a basketball right here. When you've got to throw the basketball into there, it'll go into a hopper system. And then to get the basketball back, you just press this button to get your basketball. So let's go ahead and put one right down here. I'm going to go ahead and choose the orange concrete. Coming off this wall, I'm going to go one, two, three here, one, two, three here, and go ahead and place one right there. Now back here, we're going to put one here and do a layer on top of that. Now let's go ahead and grab the white concrete and do a layer on top of there. And on top of here, I chose the iron pressure plate and the iron trap door. So I'm going to put the iron trap door in the middle, the iron pressure plates on each side of that, and right here. I got the jack-o-lantern. Now there's two different things that you can do with this jack-o-lantern. So we have a jack-o-lantern on that one. This one over here, if you like these snow layers, you can't use a jack-o-lantern. This is the regular pumpkin on its side. And the jack-o-lantern will melt the snow. So you can't use the jack-o-lantern if you have the snow layers. If you want that to be like that, then you have to use the regular pumpkin so it doesn't melt the snow layers. So that's one thing you have to keep in mind. I like using the jack lantern because it gives a hidden light source. So I'm going to place that right there. And I think I'm going to choose this one here, guys. So I'm going to get the red sandstone slab and red sandstone stair. I'm going to place the red sandstone stair here and here. And then the slab right there. Now these other two designs are very simple. All I got here is just some snow layers. I want one two, three here, and then these here are one, two, all the way across here like that, and this in here is just some wetted pressure plates, so how I've done that is, you know, place them on there like this, and then I grab a sign, and if you place the sign right off the side of here like that, that's all i done there. Alright, now with this one here, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and get some signs and place the sign right here and put the pound signs all the way across like that there now once you've got that go ahead and place another sign off of here like this and do the same thing with that sign now once you've got that then go right over here on this first sign and do the same thing just like that and now over here do the same thing as well just like that. Now that will be your net for your arcade machine. Well, Alright guys, the next step is the banner off the side. Now it's easiest to use the classic crafting. So if you go in the crafting table, get a white banner, place one there. Go ahead and put the orange die there. Grab your white banner out of there. Now go ahead and put your white banner back in there. Put it in the middle. And then go ahead and just surround the whole banner like this. This will make like an outline around your banner. So once you've got this, then you're going to place it on the side of this arcade machine. So place one here, and then place one here. Well, all right, now let's go ahead and do the wiring to this. Again, it's very simple. Let's go to the front of here, and let's go ahead and knock out these here so we can see what's going on. And go ahead and knock out these here also. What we're going to do is take a dropper. Make sure it's a dropper, not a dispenser. And place it straight up just like this. Go ahead and knock this out just for right now. And we're going to go ahead and get a hopper. We're going to crouch place that hopper into that dropper there. And 
go ahead and take out this block and then go ahead and do the same thing off of there just like that now to make sure that your dropper is all connected up with your hoppers just go ahead and drop a random item in there go ahead and get in your dropper and you should have your item right there just to make sure that it's all connected up like it's supposed to be now go ahead and place a button here and a button here item frame off of there and put a piece of redstone dust here and then place a black carpet right there go ahead and patch this up put your flooring in here and then right over here we have the white line going around there so I'm just gonna go ahead and place two here two here and then three right here and then one right there to cover that up well, alright to finish this off I'm just gonna go ahead and place a skeleton skull into there just for a little bit more decoration and now let's go ahead and try this out so I'm just gonna go ahead and stand right here and throw the basketball in there then press this button and there's your basketball well, alright guys I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and again let me know which one of these you guys like the best down below Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.